This is Apple's new iPhone 5, and I'm here today with EE, the new name for everything everywhere, and we're going to be testing the UK's first 4G network. So first thing I'll do, go to a speed test. You can see it will find the closest uh, 4G server. Say begin test, it's going to crank up on this test network to about 20 odd megabytes per second. Now that's probably not representative of what real users will get when the network is fully up and running. They're quoting 12 to 15. But if we compare that to what we'll get on a standard 3G network, what's available now, we'll see quite how good 3G can manage. On a good day, you can get above 7 megabits per second on a 3G yeah. connection. But that's not typical for your average user's experience. And as you can see here, we're probably going to hit a peak of 5 point something, 4.71. So good, but nowhere near what the 12 megabits per second that uh, EE is hoping to offer a typical customer on 4G. At the moment, there aren't really the apps or the services that need such high speeds on mobile phones, but those are things that are very much in development. For now, what 4G is going to bring us is much faster browsing on a mobile phone. Let's look at that. That loads when the page starts to come an awful lot quicker than it would currently on 3G. That's the promise that 4G is going to bring, faster browsing, quicker access to the web. 